Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to some more Starcom Unknown Space. Alright, just doing a little bit of donuts here, we alright. Uh, let's see, I don't think, I don't think I had enough Yetrim, no, I need more Yetrim. Need more Yetrim. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and auto navigate back over here. We already got all these guys done, uh, and picked up all those, so... I'm going to control and left click again. And uh, if you select that flinger like that, uh, even though we don't know where that flinger goes, uh, it should enter it for us. Uh, and like I said, when you're auto navigating, through, especially through space like this, where you can run into other uh, enemies and stuff, uh, you kind of have to pay attention to where you're going because uh, they will show up and start picking pieces of your uh, ship off of you uh, they're, they're not they're not really friendly sometimes <laughs> but it's all about the game and doing it. you see the some of the, some of the ship uh, functioning there uh, as it's turning and doing crazy stuff so go across this bad boy uh, and I think used to there you kind of had to watch it make sure you didn't try to drag the suns um, but in recent times, it's uh it's been doing better with that. Ooh, I didn't like that. Pick that guy off there. Excuse me, sir. Right, there you go. All right, we got that stuff. Ooh, we got another piece of the fixed gun mount. Got some more aluminum. Really. The aluminum is good. We'll, we'll eventually need it, uh, but uh, it's really like yttrium, gold, uh, the charlite. Those are the, the stuff that you really want because that's uh, the charlite makes you uh, more reactors, the yttrium's more guns, you know, you know, little things. Do that. Come here. Excuse me, sir. Come here. There you go. Nope, nope. Yep, stop it. Stop it. There you go. Get all that. Uh, we picked up the fixed accelerator. And we'll go ahead. And then with these guys, I want to get that thing where it's just a little bit longer. There it goes. Because if I can get just a little bit longer, then I'll be able to shoot them and before they can shoot me. Which it, and that's always, that's always a good idea. More aluminums. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the Red Raiders base. Uh, I know where the Red Raiders base is, uh, but we'll, we'll do the normal. Uh, oh, we're gonna get too close to the sun there. It's, well, just a little bit of fire. It'll be all right. And then uh, we opened that Miracle Worker thing last time, and then this is our our thing down here. That will allow us to, um, like, if we start getting <coughs> damage, we can hit that button. And it kind of repairs some of our ship. Ooh, some titanium. Uh, uh, incongruous chunk of uh, titanium slag uh, sits half buried in the planet, composed of otherwise unremarkable ores. Have the team, team return to the ship. So most of these things, as you go around and find them, they just, uh, they're going to... Uh, find pieces of, of materials or you'll find artifacts um, eons ago geological event uh, thrust iridium deposits at the surface wind erosion uh, carried away all the hardest stone leaving a few rich nodes so we got plus two uh, iridium now yeah so that was iridium we need yttrium do 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 All right, into the next area here. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody home? Anybody? No, nothing fun there. All right. So control click over here. And a lot of the game, like I said, is exploring. It's, it's driving around. It's uh, exploring the different 
uh, planets, finding finding the quest, finding the items that are there. And generally just having a good time. Well, the game is really rich. It has a story like it has this guy. Like, uh, that's another ship there, but that is a bad guy. I kind of haven't decided what I was going to do with him yet. I uh, I ran one of these that was the Terran Empire, and if uh, so, basically, if it wasn't part of our guys, uh, we shot him in the face. Uh, you know, we detected from orbit was wreckage of a Starliner. The impact of the surface destroyed most of the salvage, but the reinforced hull. Team finds several crates of copper and a damaged data log. Analyze the data log. Too badly corrupted in universal translator form uh, complete matrix. But it was able to piece together a few entries taking delivery of copper from uh, Emmer to engage. Their absence have attacked, uh, have been attacked while en route to destroy two ships, but engines are uh, red, red lining, emergency landing. Had the team returned to the ship? So, as you kind of go around, and then you'll see here, you know, our crews gain an experience. We go in here, and we go, this is our cargo, so we have a fixed gun mount. And you can research these pretty much as soon as, oh, he updated the graphics. That's cool. We'll do that. We'll do the fixed accelerator. We have found enough components. We should be able to research and building this gun. The fixed weapon is actually a really cool weapon. Uh, the only trick with that one is, and it's part of the reason I engaged this thing, was you have to uh, uh, use it to, you have to point it, right? Here, everybody, what's going on? So you come up, we hail him. Halt! This area is off-limits. Unauthorized vessels depart immediately. Perhaps we can reach some peaceful arrangement where you can conduct a uh, scientific survey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go with... Yeah, I, I'm going to be in charge here. We will not be intimidated. In communications. This may have been a silly thing to, to start here, but uh, uh, here we are. Go ahead and hit our B for our uh, repair facilities there. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. You're not gonna intimidate me. Uh, my, my hole is kind of hurting. Now I've taken out his engines. I get, get a little bit of space between us and him. He, he does outrange us quite a bit. But I could come out here. Uh, let let our guys re repair our ship. Uh, we're gonna spend a lot of time on fire. Uh, it's it's just kind of just kind of gonna. It's what we do. So, but you can come out here. Uh, you'll see our repair is gonna come back. Uh, it's a much larger ship. I probably should not have started a fight, but you know, some some days you just you yeah, it speaks to you. Like, I, I just don't, I don't feel like, you know, you telling me. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. Do, 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 do. All right, come on. <clears throat> just, a, just a lot of waiting. We're just a little bit on fire. It'll be all right. So we'll go back in. You're going to start shooting at us again. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in, we'll, we'll let him beat us down a little bit, and then once we, we feel like we've gotten too far down, go ahead and hit B. That will start regenerating our hull. There you go. Slowly, slowly chewing through. There there we got There we got him. All right, so navigation sensors, back our line. Uh, we did pick up something, right? Uh, nanite superfluid program on nanite superfluid short lived life bar crew can use to equip make effective repairs right so uh, basically what they're doing is they're protecting this place up here we're just a little on fire oh it happens it happens a lot actually uh, I, I spend a lot of this this game on fire 
Uh, so this is kind of their home world. Think it is? No, it's, oh no, it's, uh, it's that thing, right? The lander touches down a few hundred meters from an enormous pyramid. The size is segmented in regular positions. Hmm. Protrusions, I'm sorry. A penetrating writer shows there's some kind of interior cavities, but no obvious way in. The team spins and swirl in a circle of the pyramid and investigate various facets before, uh, uh, cap Cadet Cap Kepler uh, notices an opening in the face, and the team had been definitely investigated before. <laughs> Examination of the door reveals a pot, uh, it possesses a system of hydraulic levers that expand a certain equilibrium temperature and pressure in the environment. Uh, the interior is quite small, but outside, the team finds ways, uh, various artifacts. Suggesting a just position of pre-industrial civilization without electrical or advanced power supplies, yet those artifacts are incredibly high level of engineering. One in particular is incredible, uh, has incredible details. 12 silver, 2 gold, and enigmatic shape. English is hard. So we picked that guy up, so then we go in here. Uh, so it looks like our crew has upgraded. Uh, we'll go ahead uh, analyze that. So upon deeper analysis, movable parts and move, uh, within movable parts down to a remarkable, uh, small scale. Seems to be rules governing how the unrelated shapes can move like a puzzle game. All right. Keep that for later. This, uh, this puzzle object is quite complex from a geomatic standpoint. Maybe Dr. Ramon will have an interesting look, take a look at it. <laughs> And if you don't want to fight them, I think if you let them get away from the area, uh, you can um, sneak onto that planet. But if you try to to look at that planet, they're going to uh, they'll they'll attack you. I just decided to not deal with it and uh, see how it goes. No anomalies detected there. All right, we'll go up here and get the last one, this last planet here, and we can look at our map and see where else we're going to go today. Now, normally what you would do is you would kind of come around here and, and scan all these uh, and then kind of go off and to the next one up here. <laughs> Couple of sons up here. See if we can find some more people to make friends with. So a lot of the, the game, especially in the beginning, is trying to see uh, who are, we can run into uh, and collecting resources. The structure appears to have in, uh, intermittently used outposts with cramped living quarters and communications away, array. There's nothing really of value, but... Uh, Cadet Gleese notices that the waste recyclers jammed with a uh, magnetic memory disk and able to recover several log messages. Expect to increase raw material order from uh, Nimmin and Crane infections. All right. Okay. So just more story. And and there's lots and lots of story. It's the factions are pretty, pretty fleshed out. The, uh, uh, it, it's, oh, See, there's that fixed cannon. So he pretty much can only shoot at us from the front. If I was smart, I would... I know, maybe he doesn't have a fixed cannon. Come here. He didn't need your engines anyway. Come on. I need more yttrium so I can get more guns. There you go. Pick that up. A little, little bit of aluminum, a little bit of titanium. All picking stuff up. Not only a small cluster of soft opaque uh, bubbles, no larger than one's fist. Cited that analysis shows the bubbles contain oxygen gas, seem to be formed with bacteria, uh, use sunlight to break down silicon dioxide. A second uh, symbiotic uh, organism traps oxygen for its own respiration. The organism appears to be sentient, suggesting taking one of the organisms for analysis. Yeah, let's extract the bubble. That seems like a good plan. 
Uh, 63 operation success once inside the lander. Additional analysis biological processes never before seen. Heather turn, ship return to the ship. I don't know if I'd actually have them bring a weird alien silicon based oxygen producers into the ship, but you know, eh, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. All right, so now as we're traveling around, and something to kind of be aware of is. Uh, we have another uh, star system out here. We have an, uh, another star system out here. Uh, we have another star system here. Uh, we actually already visited this one. And then we do have another uh, warp here. Now, this one, I wonder... I'm going to go up here. I'm going to hit Control and click. Now, see, it's going to have me go back and go through that warp uh, where it may be just as easy to go to here. Um, and the reason I want to go back there or go to that one is simply because it's a, uh, oh, there's the, the anomaly again. Let's see if we can catch him. I don't think we're going to be able to catch it. Uh, we, we need more engine power to be able to, to do it. So you can kind of go over to the direction where it was and sometimes you can pick it back up. Um, or uh, find out where it where it's it stops at. I was hoping. It is. It's kind of a pain to. Up oh, there it is, right there. So we're starting to catch it. I don't know if it disappeared or not. Oh, uh, it's not coming back. And now we're out into space, right? So there's nothing really here. And it, basically, they're telling us like the further we get from the, ast the astrological uh, stuff, the better off we are. All right. So now it's closer to go to this flinger to the new area, and then over here. And it kind of figures out that that you know where the things are, and it. it the game figures out kind of the shortest distance for you to go someplace. So that's, it's really helpful. But there's a reason I wanted to go up there. There's a couple, actually there's, there's about, you know, six reasons, seven reasons. There, there's a bunch of reasons to go up there. So we'll do that. We're going to jump to the flinger, jump through the wormhole, bounce up there. So if it's the first time playing, uh, oh, now we got friends. Oh, we got lots of friends. Oh. Ooh, we got another yttrium. Excuse me, sir. Can you please drop my Lord and Savior yttrium? Rip their wings off. I'll slow them down. Take their engines off. That really slows them down. So you have to be kind of... Oop, I got another Yitrim. All right, so detour time. We do this. We're going to go back to base. So we're going to just choke click that guy there. Um, so we've gotten five Yitrim now. Uh, and if you're not sure how many you have, if you hit Z... You can go to your cargo, and it will show you. Well, actually, at pretty much anywhere, it will show you. Uh, but the cargo will show you here. We have five yttrium. We need it five yttrium for that. So off we go there. So now we got more guys coming in. And and part of the reason, like I said, I, I don't want to. Uh, it's not necessarily like I don't want to be like, oh, it's horrible if you buy resources. Um, it does make the game easier. Uh to buy resources because if I'm if I take like my extra aluminum because I have extra aluminum uh, and if I take my extra aluminum and just trade it for yttrium then I will definitely be uh, I can I can build more guns I can I can do a lot more stuff a lot sooner uh, whereas if I have to find my yttrium uh, it, 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 it drags the game out a little while 
And I'm okay with it because I enjoy the game and I have a good time with it. There you go. Let's try that again. So, but whenever they pop up, I'll stop, I'll shoot them. Uh, you can, a lot of times, especially later, uh, we'll be able to, to kind of outrun them and get away from them. Uh, and then, do I have... Uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna start having energy problems with uh when I do this, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I want to show the energy problems. All right, so we'll go ahead. We're gonna dock with a station. I'm gonna take this guy. Um, let's see what I'm gonna do. Uh, can't really. It's gonna get mad at me. It's fine. Watch this. Do that. I'm gonna go to energy weapon here. I'm gonna go to plasma here. I'll grab it. That's another one. So now we've got a four of those. We'll go back to propulsion. Uh, we're gonna go with the energy here, uh, and then we can either do like a couple of wings. Uh, so the the wings are titanium, which is we got plenty of that. So we're, I'm gonna drop a wing in here. We'll drop another one here. I'm gonna hit X and flip it to the other side. And then the lateral thrusters, um, I can only put in one lateral thruster right now. So uh, I'll wait on that just so that we don't have it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these up like that. And you can kind of move these things around. like And like even if you want to, I can do this like this and, and spin them so you can make them look a little bit different. Uh, if I, you know, if I wanted to, I could replace them up here so that they're, Pointing for it, they don't have to be make sense which direction they're facing. So, like, you know, if I want to put them up here, so that way they we can we can make it look a little bit different. Now, uh, let's go to operations, Commander U. A wormhole collapse coupler wasn't the only uh, Starcom vessel on this side. Research ship the uh, Alinthia has been investigating a nearby system. She's uh, well overdue. Seeing her delay is all right. So they want us to go uh, basically look for a ship. Uh, that's all for now. I'm done talking to you, buddy. Uh, I'm going to go back and talk to my research people. Uh, now, if I go down here to these, uh, Miracle Worker, Coordinated Response, right? So, coordinated, uh, one engineer increases the repair rate by 10%, right? And then, um, Resource Spotters is each with one Astro, right? So, I at least want one Astro and one um, Engineering if I can. Right now, everybody has this. So, uh, I have like this one, so they have six free points, right? So we want at least one astro and one engineering, and then we'll pump some more into xenoculture. Um, let's see, that's fine. Uh, one astro, one engineering. Oh, <laughs> I just gave them all to that dude. Oh, I just I made a bad mistake. He's an ensign first class. Everybody else is still a dumb, dumb cadet. All right, we're fine. Uh, we'll have to remember that for next time. All right. All right, so now we have uh, where this ship is down here. We have, I still want to go up here, though. Uh, so we're going to go up there. Oh, you didn't like that. Oh, I hit escape. That's why. All right, so we'll just run over here to this guy and now we have our little wings uh so that we're gonna fly a little bit better in space uh we'll do up here we'll hit x to jump and then we're gonna go down here so we've already met like one alien race uh was there always two planets down here i don't remember i don't remember if there was always two We're going to go down here. We'll talk to these guys. Maybe there was. Count for mass. Through the warp. Uh, reducing the voice of drag on us. Right? Uh, so basically they're saying there's something out there that's not. That, like. It's, stuff's not making sense. Can this bad boy here. We'll deploy the survey team. Oh. That was. That's new. Uh, see the trader's prices, right? 
So here, once again, we have traders' prices. Uh, they don't have any artifacts for sale. The only thing I'll pretty much buy is um, is artifacts uh, because well, we'll need the artifacts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through here. We'll, we'll just shoot some of these things, and as you see, we're it's the FSP which was a comment. Uh, if we get uh, can get close enough, so they basically want us to get close enough to the comment, which seems like a really bad idea. Um, so you're going to go through here and uh, blow up a bunch of these asteroids. And if you blow up enough of them, like you get silver, there's copper, there's some gold. Uh, we got a little bit of titanium earlier. Um, and there's a bunch of different resources in here. Uh, I do not believe that there is yttrium here. And there's no... The charlite's kind of held until later. But you see now, as we're starting to run out of power... Uh, if if we just hold down the the uh, the fire button for a long time, uh, we're going to have some problems uh, with uh, our basically draining our reactor and draining our batteries. So lots of aluminum. So there's lots of time here. Uh, now there are a few things that you want to uh, you want to spend some time here to do these because uh, there's there's some stuff uh, and there's one right there. There's an orange glyph. Okay, so that thing may actually be going around in a circle. All right, I'm going to go ahead head down this way. I wonder if it's actually spinning around in a circle or... Oh. Go talk to this guy. See, see if we need to shoot him in the face. This is CX, uh, Sextra uh, 2390. We're carrying authorized cargo only. We might have been locked with a trade guild. I can earn grain of the Starcom. I am peaceful exploration mission. Good to hear. Peaceful exploration has a, <laughs> a euphemism. What would it be a euphemism for? Give us your cargo. We become less pe peaceful, maybe. You held us. Is this a shakedown or not? I uh, know a real uh, peaceful exploration mission. How can we uh, show you that? Yes, this is shake down. Give us your resources. Uh, well, we won't go full Terran. Really, in that case, could you just uh, show that by getting out of the way and letting us get on with it? Delivery mission. We'd like to trade with you. Is this a trade kill setup? I told you we only carry authorized cargo. Nothing off the books. Nothing to trade. <laughs> yeah, that guy seems completely... Completely not shady. All right. So, uh, but you can kind of go around down here and uh, see if we can see if we can get hit by this this meteorite that, or this uh, asteroid that's coming through. And uh, fly around, hit some of the uh, the rocks and stuff, and and pick up some more resources. There you go. There's another another uh, artifact. And then the next thing that we'll end up doing is going out here. This is, there's so much to, oh, there it is right there. So we got it. So we got 150 experience from it for being close enough to the asteroid. Um, I'll spend some time between episodes to come back up here, clear out a bunch of this stuff, and get some more resources. Uh, so uh, there's the glyph sphere. Uh, shows the markings are something hybrid between natural language and machine language, possibly the object that you used to instruct an AI. The stone skull. Creatures very unusual biology, probably evolved in a low gravity environment. Fortunately, the specimens are uh, so great as nothing else to learn from it. Uh, so you're finding pieces of a civilization in the asteroids. Coming through a pretty, uh, some, some, basically the stuff that shows up in the top left there is the banter of the crew basically talking and uh, you know the stuff that's being said on the bridge so what we're going to do is we'll go here uh, and 
unfortunately, the only way to get out there is to basically travel across the void. Because you have to remember the other ship didn't know that there was a way to not travel across the void. So we'll just put the pedal down. And you'll see as we get out, we get, we're up to 65, 64. And it's dropping for some reason. Uh, and then it went up. So that's, that's weird. There's reasons for it. And then it's going back up some more. And you'll see as we travel out, uh, our speed is slowly increasing. So the further you get away from, from uh, the celestial body, the, the faster it's going gonna, it's gonna to kind of go. And we're heading towards the orange star there. So we've gotten close enough that it's showing up on our radar now. There you go. Void effect is 100% now. So this is pretty much the fastest we can go uh, without uh, more engines or... Can't really, I don't think we put more wings on. I think you only have two wings. Avoid dragging effect near celestial objects. Scanners is too far away. Maybe the rogue planet or a dark object. Like I said, there's a there's a a, a drag effect out here. So and we'll eventually f find it. If you go into the map, sometimes you can it'll show up. But uh, nope, not yet. Log entries, observation things that should return to. Right click the map to add notes. Right. So it basically, wants you to add a note here that says. So we can do that and save and close that. So there's a just a drag effect, right? We don't know why yet. Well, we know why, but the uh, we don't. We, our character doesn't know why yet. So once we got down here, we now we can see a planet. So we can actually uh, alter our course and go check out the planet instead, instead of driving into a star. Ooh, look at that! We got a wormhole, so we can get out of here quicker. So, once again, more exploration. Uh, now, we are looking for another ship down here. Now, you do want to come up here to these uh, when you find them. And you do want to activate them. Uh, because until you activate them, uh, I don't know if you can use them. Especially if you start trying to, to drive out of here. That would be uh, uh, useful for getting out of here. And then more importantly, it's uh, more useful for coming back because that way if you don't research or if you don't uh, find all the places that as you were down here, uh, it makes it easier to get back and forth. Being able to build your uh, fast travel points in is, is helpful. Go ahead, we'll explore, send them out to exploration. Odd Impact Crater notes that the lack of erosion force, uh, forces bleed lies is true age these jag up thrusts are hundreds of millennia to wear down uh at the center of the crater's recent excavation site is for your uh star com survey team ex uh extracted whatever was here right so we have uh sir elinth was it was investigating so supposedly our the ship that we're looking for was down here and it looks like one of our teams have been down here picking things up And then, like I said, especially when uh, new stars and stuff, make sure you kind of swing by them uh, within within range uh, so that you can get uh, the research points. And they do they do show up with the research points sometimes. This guy's way out here. Do, 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 do. Lots of exploration, lots of lots of checking. Do that, and then we're going to go down here to this guy. Cluster of stone pyramids, only markers of civilization on this planet. Penetrating radar shows that uh, structures and interior cavities at only one point. It has since been filled in. Small glyphs along the protruding edges, writing in universal, uh, universal translator. This is a chariot to enforce the Paris Lance, right? Starfaring civilization built these, right? So it's just, you know, there's civilizations, there's, you know, 
and and, and you're going to find out this whole area has been it, it's alive. There there's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of background. There's a lot of civilizations, which is it just makes it feel alive. And you go find little things, and it's it's such a good story. I I like it. Uh, I, I'm just kind of here for it and having fun with it and the the gameplay in the game and everything. Uh, it, I, I'm trying to make it, you know, I, I love the game. I, it just, the, uh, and I, and I just want to see and play and the, uh, especially playing on the, um, experimental branches or the, uh, the opt-in branches. Uh, it, unfortunately a lot of times you have to start over because the, your save game doesn't translate across. Uh, but I'm fine with it. It allows me to, to go through. And, and really uh, help the dev uh, just, you know, another set of eyes that kind of go through the story and, and things that make sense. And uh, I just kind of go into it and just have fun. So we got a, a white star down here. We got a couple more planets down here. See if we can find our friends. Got a planet over there. Come on. All right. Let's do that. Keep keep our speed up. No one almost detected on that one. Yep, there you are. Look, so we showed up blue. So that is our our friend. They just don't know we're here yet. Looks like they're going to the desert planet. Why are you running from me? You know, if I was if I was the captain of that ship, I'd be like, well, why is there another Starcom ship out here? Uh, difficult to spot from the air. The lander makes several passes for uh, Commander Kepler or Cadet Kepler spots the target. From a distance, it looks like an abandoned outpost gradually uh, being erased from the elements. Up close, it's apparent that the structure surfaces of um, camouflage and the color and texture surrounding rock. Acquired iridescent globe. Okay. So we found another thing. We found some titanium and some platinum. Why they didn't find that stuff, I don't know. But come back here. Why are you running away? Captain Dolson, commander of the uh, Atlantia. Uh, good to see you. Another Star Cow vessel. Investigating anomaly. We're confronted by a group of vessels. That I was devout. I'm not sure what said was wrong. It started firing us. Caught us by surprise. Our reactor took heavy damage. Do you need an escort back? Got a view to offer, but unless you encounter larger numbers, should be all right. Didn't expect an attack, uh, which was my own fault. We'll be ready next time. And then we're going to tell them about the, the wormhole gateways and so they can use it. So, uh, so Ron was right. Good news is shorten our travel back quite a bit. Thanks for the information. Did you find anything during your interrupted survey? So, and then we get uh, intricate triangles. So we get more. We get more stuff. More things. So then we'll go in here, which is nice. Something to just—they're the science vessel. We're an exploration vessel, and they're going to just give us the scientific stuff, uh, right? So objects ability to change color properties, certain hard materials, intricate circles. Materials close to zero resistance, conducting all ships at free energy. Okay, didn't even make it warm. All right, so we got that one. We got one more building up there, or one more uh, planet up there to look at. I don't know if there's a building on there or not. Do that. We'll spin around. No anomalies detected there. So, and like I said, the it's a lot of it's about exploration. It's about finding out, finding who else is in this area, and and just generally, you know, having a good time with most of this stuff, and. If you're trying to rush through the story, you can kind of bum rush it. Um, I try to take my time and have a good time with it because it's, you know, it's a story and it's it's learning. And uh, like I said, I, I'm not trying to get the, um, to burn through it. I've been, I like Red Raider attacks based on the arrival of Warp Center. I think tactical pattern marked a map where expected bases defenses be, Right. So basically, if you if you mess around long enough, uh, it will tell you, "Hey, I think their base is here." Um, so we go, yep, right. So they're they're like, "Oh, I think their base is here." Uh, so if I click this guy like that, 
right? And then it's going to to basically auto navigate me to there. Uh, and we're we're way over. So uh, we'll look like we'll uh, go ahead and find uh, that base next time. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to uh, back to the back to the station instead. Uh, and so it's just kind of figuring out which which uh, weapons you want to use. Uh, and there's there's several weapons. There's the fixed ones. There's the missiles. There's uh, lasers. There's um, all kinds of stuff. So I tried to pick one because you're kind of limited on how many uh, um, research points you have. Uh, there's there is a limit to them. Uh, and then, so yeah, these are these are the other guys up here. Let's go talk to them real quick. See, see how angry these guys are. So you have markings of blasphemer, uh, uh, who scrapped forbidden relics from a sacred world. You are condemned to the heretics of the empire to burn. Make your choice: accept the blessing, the remnants, and become one of the understanding, or we reject them and perish here. I don't know what you think we did, but we're not giving to threats. Yeah, we're not going to give in to threats. We burn when I be true like men if you're abandoned. All right, so they're going to get mad at us. And then we're, we have to uh, to have a, a, a discussion with them. Oh, I don't know what I just did there. Oh, no. No. Uh, oh, it, it's F11 that did that. Okay, that makes sense. I hit I hit the screenshot button and it was it would it did not end well. All right, we're just a little bit on fire. It'll be all right. I was trying to take a screenshot for uh for a thumbnail and uh it it could have it could have gone better. I see if we can get away from these guys a little bit. So, uh, obviously, uh, it didn't go. It didn't go well. Could have could have gone better. So there's three of them. They are pretty strong, uh, and we just kind of want to keep them away to allow our our ship to kind of regenerate a little bit. We've we've actually picked off quite a bit of them. Get his gun out. Almost got... Oh, you are picking off my stuff. I need those. So, uh, the hit and run tactics are definitely definitely helpful. Uh, we're waiting for that thing to kind of get back up. We've gotten that one out, so we've killed one of them. We got our battle stations kind of going, so we can get that back up. They seem to be really good at, at shooting at us. I think I think we've lost a bunch of our pieces of our our ship. This this may be a good time to retreat. <laughs> So we're just a little bit on fire, uh, just just a little bit. Uh, as the ship slowly will get back in, it, they'll put the fires out and they'll get stuff kind of going back in. Uh, it does take a little bit of time sometimes, but uh, running away, kind of letting your your ship kind of regenerate. The problem is, is is where we've lost a bunch of our guns uh, and our our ability to to cause uh, damage. Uh, they have not lost their ability to cause damage. Did that other guy shoot him? Nope. I didn't see what we just grabbed. Uh, we got crews ready for battle stations again. More battle stations! So if we can get one of these guys kind of picked off... 
like one on one we could probably you know be okay but it's it's three on one that that is causing us problems now you want to be careful running into them because uh that hurts so a little bit more titanium So we're just a little bit on fire. Do a little bit of there. We can take his his engine out. It, that will help us. There you go. Um, or we can just take him out and call it good. When, so titanium and aluminum. So we'll do that. We'll go back. Now we'll try to go back again. Starting fights that I don't. I shouldn't be starting. Rises about ships are similar to those of ships that have destroyed uh, Maris. Uh, Mia Station seems orders of magnitude weaker in terms of combat strength. So basically, up oh, there's there's that guy again. <laughs> you'll keep running into that thing from time to time. Eventually, you you'll get to a point and you'll just get lucky. You'll be able to go fast enough and you'll be able to catch it. So we're gonna go back. Uh, we'll look at our research points. We'll see uh, the fixed gun and see if there's other stuff. Let's get this go ahead dock with the stations operations uh commander milton is taking a look at the iridescent artifact you found it's actually seeing something that jim like state shipyards went home custom coloring of, of uh, luxury vessels right camouflage ships right so basically that allows us to uh paint our ship for us which is good excellent work finding uh, alinthia proving quite capable a second ship nearby continued exploration of space right so all for now um so basically that will allow us to go in here and we can go into research uh once again we're kind of in a point where we we need power we need like we can do maybe uh this extra reactor uh research that we'll get some batteries this is stuff to have that's good for now right Anti-proton chains, right? 10% boost to energy, more more power. More power. More power is good. Probably should have gotten the color things, but uh, we can look down here. So you'll see uh, fixed guns right here show up. So you see the fixed guns show up, and as you find different things, the other ones will show up there. Um, nothing else in the cargo for right now. And then let's go back to the shipyard. So now if we go to energy, uh, now we have a medium battery. So we need uh, 32 copper, right? I can do a mini, mini battery, which we can get a little bit of power from. Uh, the Mark II reactor, I need four ch uh, char light, right? So this one is one. So I need uh, the, the one of the, the char light uh, to make these. I need four to make this, but this is uh hp 10 reserves i don't think it tells me how much it it's just yeah it doesn't tell me how much it's there and you can do planning mode so that you can kind of add and build stuff and it doesn't you know you kind of make a make a drawing uh propulsions right lateral thrusters uh we have enough to for these now so we, we can go ahead and drop these guys. And then you hit X to just flip it to the other side. Or you can hit the AD to spin it around. Um, and then... But now we have lateral thrusters. So that will help us turn and move a little bit better. Uh, you know, you can... Utility, survey lander, right? All kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, more armor, many deflectors. All kinds of crazy... Crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, so hopefully, like I said, y'all are having a good time with the game. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, do consider throwing a, uh, yay, more personal advantage. You don't need to concern yourself with a uh, sports staff, but you'll be in ships operations and speed of repairs, right? So we do have a little bit more power. So you see uh, we're able to go a little bit longer before we run out of power. And you kind of want to be able to fire for a while before you run out. Upgrade our bridge, right? So we'll just, we'll slowly keep upgrading our ship. But as always, like I said, if y'all do enjoy these, uh, please consider throwing a like on it. If you uh, have a question or comment or concern, leave that down below. And if you're not subscribed and you'd like to be, uh, there's a button for that also. Uh, with that, y'all be safe and we'll talk to y'all next time.